Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to draft a cash flow forecast or a cash flow statement when some information is given to us in terms of how the cash flow is going in and out of a business within a certain period. Now, remember that there are five things, there are five topics, or five concepts that go into these cash flow forecasts. And you will just need to know these in order to answer any questions you will have on this topic. So I want to list them down first and then we're going to attempt a small question on how to make a cash flow forecast. Now, looking at number one, the first of these concepts is called cash inflows. It's all the cash payments that are received by a business. So that's, that comes in the form of cash sales, for example. Then there's your cash outflows. These are all the cash payments that are made by a business in a certain period. So when they pay wages, when they pay their bills, will obviously be paying in cash. Then there's your opening balance. This is the amount of cash that you had at the start of the month. And then there's also closing balance, the amount of cash you have remaining at the end of each month. And you remember that cash, the closing balance of one month becomes the opening balance of the other month. It's like you had $100 in your pocket, you went to sleep, you woke up, there's still $100. So that's your opening closing balance. And finally, a concept called net monthly cash flow. That monthly cash flow is simply the difference between the inflows and the outflows of the cash. So equipped with the knowledge of these five concepts, you simply need to remember the formula that I'm showing to you right now, and this helps to solve or calculate all cash flow forecasts for a company. And that little formula goes like this. Remember, these cash flow forecasts are made for a particular period, month, so we'll consider it for month one. If you want to calculate what the cash situation for month one was, you simply use this formula. Opening balance plus cash inflows minus cash outflows will equal to your closing balance. And as we've learned, the closing balance of one month then becomes the opening balance of the next month. So we see that the green line here indicates that whatever this figure is, if this is 20, then for month two, the opening balance becomes 20. And then the same formula repeats itself. Plus inflows, minus outflows, equals closing balance. And yes, you've guessed it, closing balance of month two will become the opening balance of month three. Remember this, this is your save. This will save you every time you're stuck with cash flow. Now let's attempt a question using this formula. So here's a company XYZ and a situation is given here about their cash flow forecast. So let's see how we can use this to prepare a cash flow statement using this formula. So XYZ company has an opening balance of $10,000 at the start of month one. And we wanna calculate what the closing balance of month two is. And between that time, between the opening balance of month one and the closing balance of month two, these four transactions have taken place. For month one, cash inflow of 20,000 and an outflow of 25,000. And for month two, an inflow of 20,000 and an outflow of 10,000. Now remember, each period is first treated separately and then you move on to the next one. Meaning you first complete this entire formula for month one. And once you get the month one calculation done with, then you move on to month two. So let's calculate the closing balance for month one using this information. Now we have our opening balance of month one at $10,000. The cash inflows for that month were 20,000. The outflows were more than the inflows, 25,000. So I've got 30 minus 25, a positive cash flow of $5,000 at the end of month one. But we want to know what the closing balance of month two is. And as you know, that closing balance of month one will become the opening balance of month two. Since we ended month one with 5,000, we will begin months two with 5,000 as well. So the opening balance of month two then becomes 5,000. 
Then we simply go with the figures in month two. There's a positive cash flow of 20,000 again, negative of 10,000, which tells me that this company has a positive, positive cash position of 15,000 at the end of month two. 25 minus 10, 15,000 cash. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.